Hi, everyone. This is Alan Carroll. I had the uh, Story Maps editorial team at Esri. I'm going to give the basics. It'll just take a few minutes. Story Maps reside on the web, of course, and they combine interactive maps that are hosted on Esri's cloud service, ArcGIS Online, with multimedia content. So your photos and videos and sometimes audio and text, of course, to tell all sorts of stories about the world. And by that, I mean all stories from local uh, scales like neighborhoods all the way up to continents and planet spanning narratives on all sorts of topics from personal travel logs to corporate messages to nonprofit calls for action. They work on a variety of screen sizes. So in other words, they're responsive. We've worked hard to make the mobile experience work just as beautifully and smoothly as the uh, PC experience. And of course, they also work on tablets. It's best to author on large screens, but you can view them on any device. And they incorporate interactive builders. To me, this is kind of the secret sauce. So uh, you don't need to have any kind of specialized web development skills like JavaScript and CSS. Basically, if you can make a PowerPoint, you can make a story map. And the core of our builder function is what we call a block palette, which is what you see in the left panel here. So you can imagine these different elements, text and and images, video, audio, embeds, uh, and immersive sections as, as building blocks for your narratives. And so you can assemble those one by one and you can rejigger them, reassemble them to create a beautiful uh, multimedia story. Story maps are hosted by Esri in the cloud, again, on ArcGIS Online. That doesn't mean we claim any sort of ownership to your story. It's simply a place to park it, park your story uh, so you don't have to worry about maintaining a whole infrastructure. And from that, uh, that spot on ArcGIS Online, you can access stories uh, and use them and link to them in various ways. You can embed them in websites, etc. Uh, we started about a decade ago with what we now call our classic apps. So one by one, we developed these little web apps that uh, that presented uh, or that enabled multimedia storytelling <clears throat> within different kinds of user experiences like side panels and and tours and things like that. They worked well and, and they, they became popular, but they had some drawbacks. Mainly, they were starting to look old and each one of them was separate. Each one of them required a bit of a learning curve to, uh, to master the uh, builder functions. So about three years ago, we started working on what uh, what we now call ArcGIS story maps. It's got lots of advantages. The main one is that there's a single builder. You only have to learn one builder and you can within that builder function, within a single story, you can combine those different kinds of uh, user experiences into what we call immersive sections. We've also updated the updated the design, uh, we've made the um, mobile experience better, and we've worked really hard to make the builder process, the building editing process as uh, intuitive as possible. Story maps have grown really rapidly in popularity. It's been thrilling to witness uh, starting in 2012 with 120 stories. We're now well over a million and a half stories hosted on ArcGIS Online. And there are tens to hundreds of thousands of additional stories behind firewalls and within our enterprise systems that we can't count. Many organizations are using story maps. Uh, so things like uh, organizations like U.S. Um, uh, federal agencies, Environmental Protection Agency and NOAA, each have published uh, more than a thousand story maps. National Park Service, USGS, and many others, Department of Agriculture, et cetera. Also, um, many local and uh, state or provincial uh, agencies are publishing story maps. They've really taken off in the NGO and nonprofit realm. So lots of uh, conservation organizations like the Nature Conservancy are using story maps as are humanitarian organizations. Um, they've, they're also being used by Smithsonian and my alma mater where I worked for 27 years before coming to Esri at, uh, at National Geographic. Another thrilling development is that they've really taken off in the classroom. Uh, so teachers are using uh, story maps for, for instructional purposes, but what's really cool to us is when they uh, challenge their students, their classrooms to create story maps. So story maps are becoming a kind of gateway via which thousands of uh, young people are discovering the power of geography and, uh, and, 
and maps and storytelling. You can uh, you can find us at esri.com slash story maps where there's lots and lots of additional information. So please do visit us and please tell your stories. Thanks. <laughs>